I am indebted to my father for living, but to my teacher for living well. A tomb now suffices him for whom the world was not enough. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. I am not afraid of an army of lions, led by a sheep. I am afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. When we give someone our time, we actually give a portion of our life that we will never take back. But truly, if I were not Alexander, I would be Diogenes. Sex and sleep alone make me conscious that I am mortal. Upon the conduct of each depends the fate of all. There are no more worlds to conquer. My treasure lies in my friends. Each moment free from fear makes a man immortal. Glory crowns the deeds of those who expose themselves to toils and dangers. Remember, upon the conduct of each depends the fate of all. As for a limit to one's labors, I, for one, do not recognize any for a high-minded man except that the labors themselves should lead to noble accomplishments. For my part, I think that to a man of spirit there is no other aim, an end of his labors except the labors themselves. When you bury my body, don't build any momentum and keep my hands outside so that the world knows that the person who won the whole world had nothing in his hand, while dying. There are so many worlds, and I have not yet conquered even one. Without knowledge, skill cannot be focused. Without skill, strength cannot be brought to bear, and without strength, Knowledge may not be applied. Toil and risk are the price of glory, but it is a lovely thing to live with courage and die leaving an everlasting fame. True love never has a happy ending, because there is no ending to true love. Whatever possession we gain by our sword cannot be sure or lasting, but the love gained by kindness and moderation is certain and durable. In the end, when it's over, all that matters is what you've done. Let us conduct ourselves so that all men wish to be our friends and all fear to be our enemies. May God keep you away from the venom of the cobra, the teeth of the tiger, and the revenge of the Afghans. With the right attitude, self-imposed limitations vanish. Every light is not the sun. God must have loved Afghans because he made them so beautiful. There is something noble in hearing myself ill spoken of when I am doing well.